classifying alcohols. In organic chemistry, we can classify alcohols as primary, secondary, or tertiary, and we're going to look at how to do that. So let's start with primary alcohols. We have to look at the carbon that the OH group is attached to. If it's got one R group or one alkyl group attached to it, it's a primary alcohol. So for example, ethanol is a primary alcohol because that carbon that the OH group's attached to also has a CH3 group attached to it and two hydrogens, and that's what makes it a primary alcohol. Secondary alcohols have two alkyl groups attached to that carbon. So let's have a look at an example. Remember, the R groups show the, a general alkyl group. It doesn't matter what alkyl group. It, it could be anything, methyl, ethyl, propyl. So there's the carbon. We'll put a methyl group there and an ethyl group attached to it as well and a hydrogen atom. And the two alkyl groups make it a secondary alcohol. Now notice our longest chain has four carbons and we number them to make the alcohol um, have the lowest number possible. It's on that second carbon. So that would actually be butan 2 -ol. Let's have a look at tertiary alcohols. The carbon that has the OH group will have three alkyl groups attached to it, or three R groups attached to it. That's what makes it a tertiary alcohol. And again, it doesn't matter what R groups we use. It could be methyl groups, ethyl groups, propyl groups. They can be as long as you like. So in this case, we'll put um, three methyl groups attached to that central carbon. And there's the OH group. And what we have here is a chain with three carbons in. The OH group's on the middle carbon, and we've also got a methyl group, so it would actually be 2 methyl propan 2 ol So let's have a look at some examples of primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohols and see if we can classify them correctly. So for our first molecule, we're going to draw our hydrocarbon chain. We'll put three carbons in a row, put the OH on the end carbon, a methyl group coming off the middle. And let's work out if it's primary, secondary, or tertiary. At first glance, you might be tempted to say it's a tertiary alcohol, but remember, we look at the carbon to which the OH group is attached. It's only got one alkyl group, even though that group is branched. It's got two hydrogens, so that actually makes it a primary alcohol. So don't get caught out. Branches don't necessarily make it secondary or tertiary. You have to look at the carbon that the OH group is attached to. Let's have a look at another example now. So we've got four carbons in the chain with a methyl group coming off one of them and an OH group coming off the other. And again, look at that carbon that the OH group is attached to. We've got a methyl group there. And then we've got another alkyl group on the other side and one hydrogen. So you've got two alkyl groups in the hydrogen, which makes it secondary. Let's have a look at a final example. We've now got four carbons in the chain, and off that first carbon, we've got two methyl groups and our OH group. So on the carbon that has the OH group, we've actually got one, two, three alkyl groups, which makes it a tertiary alcohol. So the main thing to do is just look at that carbon that the OH group is attached to and check how many alkyl groups are attached to it. And you can work out whether it's primary, secondary, or tertiary. Just finally, a top tip when you're drawing alcohols. Have a look at an example of a picture of ethanol. So we've got two carbons. Pop the hydrogens in. And because it's ethanol, it's got an OH group. That's not a good way to draw it. Why? Well, it looks like that bond is going to the hydrogen, not the oxygen, which is bad. So let's redraw it properly. Two carbons, pop the hydrogens in. Remember, the bond goes to the oxygen, so make it really clear that that bond is connecting the carbon and the oxygen, and then that's a good structure.